Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about popliteal artery Doppler ultrasound. These are transverse and longitudinal images of a normal popliteal artery. The normal spectral Doppler waveforms are also given. Normally, the popliteal artery has a triphasic flow pattern. It is triphasic because we see the waveform in three different shapes. The first phase is the systole. The wave is above the baseline and we can get peak systolic velocity. The second phase is the early diastole. It is seen below the baseline which means there is some flow reversal. The last phase is seen above the baseline as well, but it is very small. Sometimes it is also zero, which gives us the end diastolic velocity at this point. It can be zero. It is the late diastole. This graph is the same as this one. It just has opposite direction. The blood flow direction is opposite as compared to the blood flow in this image. Otherwise, both these waveforms are same. The peak systolic velocity or PSV of popliteal artery is between 20 to 60 centimeters per second. And the end diastolic velocity is between 0 to 15 centimeters per second. The pulsatility index is between 0 0.5 to 1.5. The resistive index is between 0 0.6 to 0 0.8. And the SD ratio is between 2 and 3. Stenosis refers to the narrowing of the lumen of a blood vessel. There are various features seen on ultrasound regarding stenosis. The normal waveform can change to either biphasic or monophasic depending on severity of the stenosis. Both the resistive index and the pulsatility index will be increased. In this image, the resistive index was 1 and the pulsatility index was 3.4. And it has a monophasic waveform. We only see one type of shape that is above the baseline. These features are always correlated with clinical symptoms. The normal waveform can change to biphasic or monophasic in a normal individual after exercise. So these features are always correlated clinically. The severity of stenosis give their own specific features on Doppler ultrasound. In a stenosis of 0 to 49 percent, that means the diameter of the popliteal artery is reduced by a percentage between 0 to 49 percent. A ratio known as peak velocity ratio is used. It is a ratio of peak systolic velocity at the stenotic segment, that is the site of stenosis the PSV at this point and the peak systolic velocity in the normal segment in stenosis between 0 and 49 percent. This ratio is below 2. Mild spectral broadening can also occur. In spectral broadening, these waveforms are thicker than usual. It usually occurs when there is turbulent flow 
within a vessel. When there is turbulent flow, you will see color mixing at the site of the turbulence. In 50 to 74 percent stenosis, a biphasic or monophasic waveform is seen along with spectral broadening and the PVR is more than 2. In a stenosis between 75 to 90 percent, a monophasic waveform will be seen. Spectral broadening will also be seen and the PVR will be more than 4. Occlusion refers to the total obstruction of a blood vessel. Reduced or absent Doppler signals are seen at the site of occlusion. In this region, we do not see any Doppler signal. And in chronic cases of occlusion, we will find collateral vessels right next to the site of occlusion. Popliteal artery aneurysm refers to the abnormally increased diameter of popliteal artery. Here is the normal transverse view of the popliteal artery along with popliteal vein. Whereas in this image, we can see a very large diameter of the popliteal artery. The diameter is usually more than 2 centimeters in an aneurysm. And a mural thrombus is often present right here. This small echogenic area is the thrombus. It is attached to the wall of the vessel. So it is called a mural thrombus. Spectral Doppler waveform can be normal in a popliteal artery aneurysm. This waveform is normal. It is triphasic. But in the image, we can see mural thrombus and an abnormally increased diameter of the popliteal artery. A pseudoaneurysm occurs in case of injury or trauma to the popliteal artery. A well-defined fluid-filled structure can be seen adjacent to the popliteal artery. And we will find a connection between the pseudoaneurysm and the popliteal artery. We will also find color mixing or turbulence within the pseudoaneurysm. We can see a mixing of colors both red and blue inside this pseudoaneurysm. Popliteal artery entrapment syndrome usually occurs in athletes, those who have hypertrophic leg muscles. In this condition, a reduced or absent blood flow is seen in the vessel. Stenosis of the artery is also seen and we will also find turbulence. Here is a transverse view of the popliteal artery. We do not find any Doppler signals. We will also find increased pulsatility index, increased resistive index and decreased peak systolic velocity. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.